Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Mario here, even though I did start out really early. And I'm joined along with, hey, it's me, Luigi here. And welcome to our remade Let's Play for a very, very long time since, um, you know, back in 2012. We're about to be doing Let's Play of Rio for the Xbox 360, mostly, because as you guys probably can already tell from um, the Christmas 2011 unboxings videos, mainly for part one though, mainly, because even then that we actually got the Xbox 360 version, so with that, we don't usually have the Wii version because we'll explain until we actually get into the gameplay itself. So then, now, now, originally back in 2012, that, um, Duffy and Brown Teddy used to done this Let's Play before, but, much like any other old Let's Plays, and, um, during the 2011 through 2013's era, that means the video part is really, really horrendous at, at times. But since, um, well, recently Sonic and Knuckles has been finishing Super Smash Bros. Uh, Let's Play, so that we can actually do this Let's Play as a remake Let's Play. So even then, uh, we almost at September at some time, and perhaps maybe Piccolo can actually do his remake Let's Play as well. But we'll have to find out and see. So then. There are five modes in this game, like specifically in the um, play mode. Now, we're not going to be tackling through all three of these modes down there because it might going to be take a little bit too long and thus, well, I'm just never touching to those. But um, we will tackle mostly for party mode, mainly for the mini games and etc. So let's get on to the story mode. And then uh, once you start the, um, the story mode up, you can uh, sign into your um, player's name. Mainly you can actually type your own custom name onto your um, little thing as far as I know. And um, let me tell you this is up front. This is very much like the Mario Party because we'll explain it to that when we actually get to it. So then, here we have six playable characters based off of Rio from the movie released in 2011, even though that game released the exact same day as it did for the film's release. So we have Blue, Petro, Nico, Revel, Eva, and lastly, Jewel. So, um, yeah, um, which character should we actually going to choose for, um, story mode? Uh, we we're originally going to be playing as Blue first, but truth be told, much like it did on 2012, we decided to pick, um, Joel for our favorite character in the film. Same goes for, um, Rio 2. So then, let's get into story mode. Let's it go time. And then every time when you actually hear the loading screens, it's the fact that you can actually well, read uh, what description of the character Rio. script description is all about from the actual film itself. Earth. And here's Lewis, the dog, that he tells progress. us about the map. This is gonna be but uh, we already know about the film, so um, start, let's just get on to the first level. To I think this is called we'll Moose Lake. Yeah, it is. So the first mini game we're going to be playing through, and there's blue some um, information. Snowball fight. Collect snowballs and throw them at the other players to score points. The player with the the most points when the time runs out is the winner. So you move with the amlock stick, and press A to jump and B to throw. So then, let's uh, press start. So, yeah. And it appears to be in this um, location, it's very snowy and wintry set up. Yeah, so um, as far as I already said this before, that this is basically pretty much like Mario Party clone feels like it. Yeah, because even though it doesn't have a party board, at least, um, at least that's for probably how it, um, it doesn't featured a party board or just a game board but instead it's just a bunch of mini games very much exactly like um, the other Mario Party games particularly the first, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, advanced, six and um, seven, eight, DS and nine, island tour and ten for right now jeez there are so many Mario Parties out there for this um, point onwards don't there yeah, I know that, Luigi, because Boy Bodies is definitely the, um, the best series of all. Especially if you play as with your friends, so... 
Yeah. The next time um, is almost exactly similar to um, Sonic Shuffle 2, like um, for the sake of Dreamcast. But, um, and as well as the um, Wii Party, the first one, and the Wii Party U. But except it doesn't involve Wii U gamepad for this game, because this game did came out in um, the same year as it did on, um, well, obviously for the film. And obviously, that that has been released on um, 2011. So even then, that uh, Wii U hasn't been released until 2012. They actually revealed itself. So yeah, but at least it did show up as a prototype of the Wii U console back in E3 2011. Y'all know that, Luigi. So overall, this is, for this mini game, it's pretty simple. Basically, you're just gonna have to um, throw at throw like these snowballs at anyone else. And then once you do that, you score points. And then, most like it did on Mario Kart style of results screen, that you saw right, right there, you can actually um, add up to your points to your leaderboards. Yeah, it's very much like a Mario Kart-esque um point system. Anyways, next minigame, let it slide. Climb to the slippery roof to the top, avoid the snowballs that the wicked villain Nitro rolls at you. The first player to the top is the winner. So you move with the analog stick, and that's how you do. This main game reminds me of something related to uh, Mario Party 3's um, Boulder Ball. I think that's what the minigame is called. But again, it's been a while since I actually played Mario Party 3, but um, at least I will just um, play that more that often. Like basically, unlike in the uh, Mario Party 3's counterparts in um, Boulder Ball, I think that's a minigame called, that um, it's not just one versus three, but it's just three for all. So it's not it's not much the not so much for the one versus three minigames involved, but it's more like three for all minigames, just like how we did on Mario Party Island Tour. Like you know, this this all has um, three for all minigames, and that's all about it. Yeah. So anyways, we did one that. Basically all you have to do is just dodge the snowballs and all that stuff. And we got a new record. I have no idea why I'm saying that. And the last minigame in Lo uh, Moose Lake is Ice Hockey. Block the speeding hockey punks and defeat the... D defend your goal. For each goal that you let your loser life. Try to bounce plunk punks at into the other player's goals. The player remain the last player remaining wins. So you move with the armlock stick, and that's all of there is to say. This main game has almost reminded me of something related to um, consists of two things. One for um, well actually three actually. Uh, one for um, I don't know if it's just my pretty seventh ice move. But um, I do know that it was very similar to Speed Hockey from Mario Party 2, but except it wasn't 2 vs 2 type of game. And also there's another party game that has been revealed as the Sony PlayStation um, 1 known as Crash Bash. And even then, that this minigame is almost very similar to the minigame called um, somewhat a hockey game from, um, well, from Crash Bash. Like, um, you have this life system right here, it's almost exactly a similar concept altogether. Except, you don't usually collect the power-ups, unlike Crash Bash's counterpart. So, yeah. There's also another party game, yet another party game that has been revealed back in 2010, the celebration of the 30th anniversary of Pac-Man, that was Pac-Man Party. Yeah, for both Wii version and the 3DS version. The 3DS version is considered the worst of the bunch because it has a pretty chunky frame rate, worst visuals, and not to mention l lesser amount of boards, unlike the Wii version, which is always disappointing to me. But I digress. And with that said, we got 30 points altogether. And with that said, though, we're done with Moose Lake. I believe there were like three mini games on all for this mini game, Mario. The dog, right? uh, I don't know about that. But once you actually become champion, you move on to the next stage. What? You won? Yeah, we did well, one. Thank you very much, Nitro. Even though I do appreciate it. And then as soon as you actually approach to the next level, that you actually see this little movie clips. 
However, though, it's more like a silent um, kind of type of um, the things itself. The nasty more set will throw gloopy honey at one of the players. When the bees leave their nests, they will sting whoever has them honey. That player will lose a life. Honey covered players should pass the honey onto the players by running into them. The last player remaining wins. So it's basically like a last player standing kind of syndrome. So, um, basically, what you have to do is just, well, just move, um, walk around by using the amlock stick, and that's all about this to it. It's basically a UID mini game. I think that's a mini game called. So, yeah. I don't know what this mini game is. It's almost very similar to more another, but um, I think what I would call it that it's almost very similar to the likes of the, the one of the Dr. Rickman mini games in um, the one where that little tractor beam is controlling someone. That um, I think the. Um, uh, that's the mini game I was going to talk about from Sonic Shuffle from the mini game. Like, um, you know, if someone gets caught by the Dr. Eggman's tractor beam, and then someone is going to mind control somebody, so, um, and then just do it back to back and vice versa. However, if you get caught by the bees for the most part, you have to keep an eye on the beehive, because if you get, if the Little most model sets will actually try to actually knock the beehive, and then uh, whilst that's um, being influenced here, then you better you better have to be quick to actually pass the um, to the honey to some some opponent's house, because if you didn't, then you're probably going to lose like two lives more than one, or you lose a life. So yeah. Oh, get away from us! Get away from us! Oh gosh, there's a music note item. No, 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 Obviously that it will um, slow down temporarily so if that you can uh, obviously you can guarantee it Oh, here's one of the useful items. This is the defense power-up Basically if you grab one of those then you can basically pretty much temporarily invincible uh, Invincibility for actually when you actually don't get caught especially noticeable with these chase sequences here. So yeah, that's pretty confidential if you think about it and that was um, your it. Basically, pretty simple. It almost reminds me of like a mini game from, um, well, from Sonic Shuffle. Yeah, even though we haven't got Sonic Shuffle, but for what I've remembered, that that game has really, really long load times. That's always such a pace breaker. You'll wash your worries away. You'll start the game covered in gooby mud. Stand on the water jets to wash yourself cleaner. Watch yourself. Watch out for the muddy jets as they make you even dirtier. Collect and throw mud balls at other players to pull them off. The, the first player to completely clean wins. So, basically, it's the same control scheme as the snowball fight. Now, uh, to be fair, this was actually probably be one of my least favorite mini games of the game. Probably it's because it's luck based sometimes. Yeah, sure enough, this game does have luck based mini games, which I'm sure enough they will minus will have. But this mini game, on the other hand, you just have to memorize until when those um, little jets they actually come by. And then, um. The only bothering about this for me is that whenever when a oh yeah, as you saw right there, right there, it can be pretty random sometimes. If you actually get the biggest amount of um the jets or you know, the cleanest water you can get, that's what usually happens. Like every time this thing always gets really random. So yeah, not much I can talk about. This is probably, um, not to mention, this is probably one of the hardest mini games you can actually win through, especially if you do this on hard difficulty. Like, even though we're actually starting story mode on medium difficulty, but, um, hey. 
And there's the lightning bolt um, item where basically you can stunt those enemies or the opponents anyways is that you can actually get them straight away so that even then you can basically guarantee it that you can um, win these mini games easily enough but sadly we even though we're in second place though so oh well whatever we'll let um, Pedro um, win that one but overall pretty pretty much my luck bait um, pretty much my least favorite mini game of this game now we're going to the easy ones. Fruit bomb. Drop fruit onto the mod setter. So I can't remember what that pronunciation is. I really do apologize for that. Heads to make your color. The longer you have them, the more points you get. The more more sets you have, more points when you will score. Steal your opponent's more sets to slow down their scoring and increase yours. The player within the most points with the within the time runs out wins. So it's basically like, you know, flying, maneuvering, um, dropping stuff syndrome. So yeah. And then, as far as we actually played this game back in during, in, um, you know, in Christmas 2011, I've actually really enjoyed this game pretty much. And the reason why we actually got the Xbox 360 version of this game is the fact that I think the control on this looks really, really good. Especially how um, I used to, so used to with the GameCube Mario Party titles, and particularly the N64 ones as well. Like, you know, the, um, almost unlike the Mario Party 8, 9, or even especially 10, then you have to use the Wii mode for the most part, and sometimes motion controls. But I don't mind motion controls in Mario Party 8 and 9, especially 10, because I have a lot of fun with those. So, yeah, even though that's just in my opinion, and I'm sure enough anyone does as well. So, yeah. And every time when you actually go into revisiting those types of mini games, is the fact that you can actually um, hear the, um, the different uh, tunes during some mini games or what have you. And as you saw uh, right there, what um, that petrol just grabbed, that's actually a multiplier um, item. If you grab that, you can actually double your score so that you can catch up to your um, leaderboards until you're actually going to make it to, um, you know, usually all this matters. Oh, it was a pretty simple mini game. Basically, you just um, have to like, you know, shoot down those uh, fruits at the monkeys, and then that's how you do it. But uh, the reason why we're not going to get the Wii version is because, for what I rem remember anyway, the motion controls on uh, the Wii version of this game is tremendous, or horrendously awful. And we got a new record too. Oh wow, I'm really impressed with myself. Yeah. So, we're gonna have to finish this video just about after this little cutscene ends. So, next Glad time, I'll let's play Rio for the you. Xbox 360 so, slash PS3 and Wii. Huh? And, um, let's yeah, we're about to be exploring, um, I think it's Rio Streets. Yay. So, see you guys you next time. Won, Later, you? fellas. Yeah, see you, you then. Bet.